George Rumrell started, um, he contacted the Red Wing Pottery Company and to work with him in developing some Red Wing art pottery. He didn't have his own factory. So from the mid-30s until uh, actually early 30s to about 1937, uh, George Rumrell worked with the Red Wing Potteries and developed a lot of different Red Wing glazes and art pottery. In 1935, Red Wing had their first foray into dinnerware. Um, it was called the Gypsy Trail Line. A lot of people look at this and they think about um, Fiesta or out of California, um, Bauer pottery. The colors are very similar, but the styling I think is a little bit more. Fiesta has some concentric rings and Bauer is very plain, but as you can see, Reed has ridges around the edges. Chevron has a brick brick pattern around it, kind of like uh, the brick brick from Home at Class. Uh, plain is rather plain, and Fondoso has some leaves. The colors are very similar to what Fiesta and Bauer started out with, the cobalt blue, turquoise yellow, and the orange red. And then uh, Red Wing started to do more of the pastel colors. Um, part of the line when they started doing the dinnerware, it was originally available through the Rumrill Pottery catalogs. And when George Rumrill and Red Wing separated their ways, Red Wing sold them out of their own catalogs and their stores. Um, one of the things they did with the hostess ware, they did canister sets. Um, back in the stoneware, they had pantry jars that were started with the one gallon, um, one pound, went all the way up to a five pound pantry jar. These were a little counter friendly. You did not have to have a pantry in your home to have your flour or sugar on your, in your canister on your counter. They also did individual casseroles and marmites um, in fruits. They also did uh, roosters and chickens. So it was something uh, a little fancy to have on your table for your dinnerware. Red Wing continued with the rum rail up until the 40s. Um, and these were all single color no hand painting in this one. Okay, so in the early 1940s, Charles Murphy came to town and he was a designer and did a lot of the art pottery designs. But he looked at the gypsy trail line, the plane, and said, this is nice, but it, it's kind of boring. And said, why don't we look at doing some hand painted pieces? So that was their first uh, hand painted pieces. This was called the uh, provincial shape. Each of the dinnerware patterns has a shape name. Um, there were four patterns in, in the provincial shape, there was Ardennes with the leaves around, there was Normandy with an apple, there was Brittany with a yellow rose, and up at the top there's Orleans with a red rose. These are all named after regions of France, and this was in the early 40s, so it was reflecting what was going on in the country at the time. At this point, the women would paint each plate, individual plate, they would do an entire plate themselves. They had a little template so they could see where the places went, but they actually did all the hand painting on each individual plate. We had our museum crawl through here when we first moved into the new museum, and one of the women who came through used to paint plates at the, at the pottery. And she said, I remember painting Normandy. I painted that apple. And when Scotty, and Scotty was the, the young man who would bring the, empty, the blank plates up to them to paint because they painted above the kiln line, so it was nice and warm in the winter time, but rather hot in the summer. She said when he would get too slow and, and not bring fresh plates, she'd get a little mischievous. And she said, I would paint a worm coming out of the apple. And then she said, I wonder what happened to those plates. And I said, I've seen one of them on display during the Red Wing Convention. And it was a big platter, a big chop plate, so you'll see that on the top shelf in the next case but she was just surprised that someone had seen one of her plates. And it was nice because when you look at these plates, sometimes you can see some individuality into the painting they did. Um, in this plate up here, there's a little flower that looks like it has a face that's smirking at you. One of the interesting pieces out of the hostess wear line were these reamers and the little catch cups. Um, the reamers occasionally you'll see in antique stores, but the catch cups are difficult to find because as you can imagine, they would fall off counters and, and break. So if you can find a complete set, you're very lucky.